spring force the force the spring force is a force exerted by a compressed or a stretched spring upon any object that is attached to it an object that uh, compresses or is, is stretches a spring is always acted upon by the force that restores the object to its rest or equilibrium position for uh, for most springs some uh, for example specifically for those or say that it's obey Hoke's law and it's a uh, in its in its the magnitude of the force is directly proportional to the amount of a stretch or compression of the spring so here we have another example like uh, we have an, a spring suppose this is an spring and we are putting a force here and we pull this spring fr from here to here and the, from this point up to this point is given it's uh, nearly it's 60 centimeter and the force that we are exerting it's unknown so so the force the the distance it has so the so distance is a uh, 60 centime centimeter and uh, the const the spring constant is giving us this 256 newtons per meter and the thing and the force is unknown that how much force we have to exert on this point to pull this spring to this point so we'll name it fp the force pull is unknown so for this we have an we have a formula like a fp equals constant a spring constant times the distance times the distance means the x so the things that we have we will put in the formula so our cons spring constant is one two hundred and it's two hundred and fifty six newtons newtons per meter so and times so here the distance in, in is in centimeter we have to change that to meters so we have said like uh, it's it's 60 centimeter in one meter so it's equal to uh, one meter divided by 100 centimeter so this centimeter would cancel with this one and uh, we will divide 100 by 60 it nearly it's a uh, 0.6 meters so now we get uh, cancel meter with meter and we will multiply the 0 0.6 with 256 so it's equal to so the final answer is so our final answer is 153.6 newtons so this is the exact force that has to be uh, exerted on the spring to to pull this uh, spring from this position to this position so here we have uh, another example for a spring so we have an, a spring here and we have to we have to attach a, a force here and we have we are attaching a force of 1200 1200 newton newtons to 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 pull this or stretch this spring from this position suppose like up to here and from this position to this position is nearly it's uh, it's 16 meters so we have to calculate that uh, how much is the spring constant I mean the K or a spring constant is unknown so for this we had a we had a formula like a FP or force applied is equal to constant velocity times times displacement. So for this we will have to multiply both sides. We have to divide both sides by x. So when we do that thing, so this x would cancel with this one, and our formula would be something like a k equals fp divided by x so it's really simple so we'll just we have the things like uh, our 
the force that we apply is 1200 1200 newtons and the x or the displacement is 16 meters and the k is unknown so now we will put the things we have on the formula k equals fp is 1200 newtons and on the and the displacement is 16 meters so we will divide that so this is when we divide 1200 by 16 we will get uh, 75 so 75 so the unit for constant a uh, spring constant is newtons per meter so we'll get the newton for a new newton unit from the force applied in the meter in the meter we will get from the displacement so that's it this so this is our final answer for this question tension force the tension force is a force that uh, is transmitted through strain rope cable or wire when it is pulled tight pulled tight by the force acting from opposite end the tension force is directed along the length of the wire and pulls equally on the object on the opposite ends and ends of the wire so in this video we're gonna go through some example for tension force so suppose we have a block here we have a block with mass of 40 kilograms so the mass is 40 kilograms and and we're gonna find the tension force so so there is a tension force it's hanging on a rope and when it's hanging so when there's a tension force we know that the acceleration so there's the acceleration is 1.5 uh, meters per second square and the thing that we have to find is tension force and so we will go so you know that when, when there's a the tension force we know that the weight force is also acting on this object in opposite direction of the tension force it means in this direction weight force so we'll find that so we'll get that the well, summation of forces on the y direction equals to we have the tension force and we have the up in the opposite direction we have the weight force so this would be negative and we will go through some now we will uh we will change this to this uh, so the force in the y direction summation of force is mass times acceleration equals minus uh, minus weight force so we will do something like we will we will do uh, put this tension force mass times acceleration times mass plus weight force weight force so now we will uh, do something like tension force is equal to mass so we'll go mass times acceleration plus so the weight force is m g it means mass times gravity is we will get weight force so we'll have on the both side we have the mass as the same we'll take the mass mass times times uh, acceleration plus so there we and plus g so we will find so this, is, this would be the formula that we're going to solve this problem and find the tension our tension force and this tension force for this for this object so we'll go like a t is equal to mass we have the mass is 40 kilograms and we have acceleration acceleration is 1.5 plus also the so the gravity is 9.8 meters per second square i think yeah and we will multiply that so we'll go here tension equal tension force equal to we will get the 40 kilogram and we will add these two so when we add these two it's kind of 11 point it's 11 point three is 11.3 and we will now multiply these two so when we multiply these two so the 40 times 11.3 is uh, 450 
2 so we have the kilogram here and meters per second squared so when we do when we add those we'll get newton so this is the final answer for this question here another example for tension force suppose we have a uh, we have two blocks one with 15 kilogram mass and the another with the uh, 25 kilogram mass and they are uh, they have been attached to each other by a rope or a cable and it's also kind of a pulling by another um, by another well, pulling in this direction with another force with a force of um, 80 newtons and we have to find out that how much is the tension force between two these two blocks means here uh, which uh, how much is the tension force acting in these two blocks and we have to suppose like this is mass one and this is mass two it means block one and block two so here we have an uh, for this we have formula like a so we have to find the acceleration so the acceleration is equal to summation of forces divided by summation of masses so we have to add up all masses and uh, divide the summation of force to the to the summation of the summation of the mass and we will get something like a can you see that okay so we will get like a our summation of force is here is in 80 newtons and we divide that 25 we will add up 25 and 15 we will get 40 40 kilograms so we will divide these two we will get the acceleration is 2 acceleration is 2 and we will it's so it's newton and this is um, 40 kilogram when we uh, divide the kilogram from newton we will get meter second squared so this is our acceleration so now we will find that uh, so we will calculate the tension force between two blocks one by one so we'll first we will go for the block one it means m1 so the summation of forces summation of forces so we'll have the here just we have the tension force it means the t so we'll go like something like so or summation of forces it means mass one times acceleration equals tension force so we'll like a tension force to this side and equal to m1 m1 times acceleration so we have the mass one is 15 15 kilogram times acceleration acceleration is 2 meters second squared so when we multiply all these like 15 times 15 times 2 is is uh, 30 30 Newton so we'll find we we found that that the tension force is 30 Newtons so now we will go through for um, now go we for the second block it means the mass 2 so we'll have here so we'll know that that here is so in the first block we had only one one only one uh, one force that that was a tension force and, we, and now for this block we have also a tension force and also we have a force that it's pulling the block to the le uh, right side and so we will like uh, so we'll get the summation of forces equal to so we have the we have the so we will um, like this is a force so F is for this force, it means this force is act this pulling and the tension force is in, in the opposite direction, the left side, so we will get that minus T, it means minus tension force. And now we will go summation of force, it means mass 2 times acceleration equal to the force that acting and negative tension force. So now we have will, well this is the, we will bring the T to this side of the, this side of the equation and we will and we will put the force here in minus m2 x times acceleration 
and now we will put the things that we have so the tension force would be equal to so the force that that I think we have it's it's 80 newtons minus m m2 so that our mass 2 is 25 25 kilogram and times acceleration we have acceler acceleration was 2 meters second squared so now we will uh, so now we will uh, like uh, we'll get the 80 newtons um, minus we will multiply these two 25 times it's 50 it's 50 newtons so in the kilogram times mass times um, kilogram times meters per second squared is newton so we'll so when we divide this we will subtract 50 from 80 we'll get 30 newtons so this is the tension force between all those so it means that the tension force in this direction this point in this point and also in this point they are the same and that's it for this video